Happy holidays, everyone, from all of us at 2K Sports. Thanks for joining us at this most special time of the year. Tonight, it'll be the Houston Rockets going up against the Dallas Mavericks here at their home, American Airlines Center. With Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce is our reporter. Allie, it's all yours. The Mavericks last season traded away Kristaps Porzingis. Can they find a new number two? Coach Jason Kidd said, quote, we'll see. It could be we'll have no second score, just guys that play roles at a high level. And you see teams win championships that way, too. I have to put guys in position to be successful and find a way to win. Brian. Thanks, Allie. Well, we're at the time of the calendar when some teams go through a midseason lull. Grant, what has to be done to avoid that? Well, first of all, you have to keep your composure. You cannot panic. And, of course, this is when a coach earns his keep. Motivation becomes key. Keeping the players focused and making sure nobody starts coasting. Now let's take a look at the Rockets opening lineup. Porter Jr. and Green are the backcourt set. Smith plays the four with Shingun at center. And for Dallas, they've got Tim Hardaway, Kyrie Irving out there with Luka Doncic. Then there's JaVale McGee, and it's Kleba in at the four. Now here's Doncic. Here's Irving. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. The team does a nice job supporting what Kyrie Irving does. I mean, they've got total trust in his ability, so I think they work a lot harder to set him up. Pass to Green. Smith left side. Shoots over Kleba. The Mavericks pull it in. Hardaway with it. All sorts of time. Count the basket. Irving showing you he's a frame ahead of his opponent with that nice imagination on offense. Porter against Irving. Outside Porter. Now Green. Who drains the 19-footer. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. We played just over a minute here in the first. Doncic outside. Pass to Hardaway. On the wing, Irving. Six on the shot clock. Up and over Porter. Again, Dallas. You can't allow Irving that look. You just can't give him that. He's too talented a player. And it's Houston's ball. Four-point game. Pass to Green. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. Boy, you look at Jalen Green. All the tools to be a star. It may take some time. Now, growing up, he was always the most talented. But he is a gym rat and a worker, a grinder. So I bet on him to reach his full potential soon. Free throw good. Green. When it comes to Jalen Green now, it's obvious he can score. That's a given. But he's also a remarkable athlete. And his vertical really jumps out at you, if you will. And so he makes both from the line. Man, some of the dunks we see from Green... The throwdowns are just insane. No doubt about it, B.A. I mean, this young fella has a bright future ahead of him. He's got confidence. He obviously is a tremendous athlete. He looks like he's got the work ethic that's going to allow him to realize his potential. Houston with the ball. Trailing by two. Here's Porter. Oh, it misses. Had a chance to tie it. The Mavericks have gone three of four. Off to a nice start. Irving, the pass to Hardaway. Doncic with it. Pass to Irving. 
launches it. It's rebounded by Shangun. The Rockets have gone one for three so far. And it's all tied up. Nice to see such unselfish play from Green putting the team ahead of himself. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, and in close games like this one, B.A., you need toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. Back to Irving. It's McGee, high post. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will keep it. Shot clock at six. From 20 feet. Count it. Good. Hardaway's got his second bucket on the night. Starting to find his rhythm. He's cooking, and he knows it. And you know what? They're going to keep using it. I mean, he'll be the centerpiece of their offense today. You can bank on that. Well, that's a look. He has to finish, and he knows it. Lone opportunity. The Mavericks leading. Inside. And McGee with the stuff. And this kind of athleticism at the center position, pretty remarkable. I mean, McGee letting it all hang out there. Porter against Irving. Green for three. Perfect night so far. Two for two. You don't want to let him get into a rhythm from out there. For Dallas, they've gotten five of seven shots to fall. Outside Irving. Pass to Kleba. Outside Hardaway. And here is McGee. From 12 feet. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. That one on Shangun. Well, you look at McGee and the career resurgence he's undergone, guys. Outstanding. I mean, when he's been in the right situation, he's been very effective. off on the first. You know, there was a time years ago when the Mavericks were one of the NBA's shakiest teams. Now they're one of its proudest franchises. Kaminsky, he's checked in for the Rockets. And he misses the second one as well, so 0 for 2 that time. And you can attribute the Mavs' rise to stable ownership and some very savvy front office moves. Yeah, so true, B.A. They've made some great decisions in the draft, for sure. They've been able to find cornerstone players and build solid rosters around them. You look at how the game is played today. Teams are looking for length, versatility, and, of course, shooting. And Smith Jr. has all of that and more. it up and his next one could give him the lead well you mentioned the shooting grant smith jr hitting 42 percent from beyond the arc last season ba i mean among his many skills that one probably stands out the most but i also love his potential at the other end he really has those tools to be a lockdown defender one through five and that one falls that puts him up one point in the game now Really always a plus to have a big guy stroke it from the line like that. The soft touch on full display. Here's Doncic. Outside Hardaway. From downtown. Dallas no good that time either. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. He just missed it. Out to the wing. Smith inside. Defended by Hardaway. A nice shot by Smith. Woo. Just selling the defense on the pump fake. Dallas has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Outside Irving. Pass to Hardaway. 
Kaminsky against McGee. Back to Hardaway. Clock at six. To halt the run. Doesn't go that time. And Houston will come the other way. Last time they met was in Houston. And that one, the other team could not keep up with them offensively. <laughs> they were prolific. Yeah, you know, you can't allow them to get into a rhythm on offense. Um, once that happens, then you're in trouble. The Mavericks trailing. Doncic passes to Irving. Back to Doncic. Dallas again missing. Almost too wide open there. That's like a warm-up jumper for him. Green. Not going to go that time. Good D by Doncic. The Mavericks have gotten 5 of 11 shots to go. Driving inside. It's rebounded by Houston. A tough loss coming against Boston in their last game. They definitely came into that one hoping to be competitive. Unfortunately, they were anything but. It wasn't pretty. That's definitely the case. I mean, I know they'd like to scrub that game from their memories and actually erase it from the hard drive. Houston has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Outside quarter. Pass to Smith. Outside, Green. Kaminsky. Goes up again, and that's two points on the layup. And the Rockets lead by three. As usual, terrific effort from him. Unwilling to let the possession go to waste. And Dallas calls time here. Outplayed in the previous game on their schedule, losing to the Knicks. Yeah, for three quarters, they were the much better team. But when the lead started to slip away, they just lost their composure. And a new group getting ready for the Mavericks. Woods checked in for McGee. Powell comes in for Kleba. Bullock, he's checked in for Hardaway. And Wright subbed in for Kyrie Irving. On defense, the Rockets. Three-point lead. Wood finds Doncic. Here's Bullock. Six to shoot. Doncic outside. Goes up with the strike. They get it again. Now, And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Boy, intensity always a good thing, and Powell brings it solid at getting after offensive rebounds for his team. Green's checked in for the Mavericks. It's tied up with that one. And guys, what I like about the Rockets, they have stockpiled talent. I know they're young, but they focused on getting as many pieces as they can. Powell with a steal. It's Bullock on the wing. Right, the pass to Green. Back to right. So what do you think the most important thing for young teams like the Rockets? The B.A., it comes down to playing time. I mean, Houston has done a great job of playing their kids. But let me tell you guys, nothing substitutes for game time in the NBA. Learning by playing. That's what it's all about. Now here's Green. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. Frank Kaminsky picks one up here. He misses the free throw. good on the second free throw no doubt about it the Rockets are in a rebuilding mode I mean and I know it's a phrase we often use but Houston really has stripped themselves down to the studs
for Dallas, they've got 7 of 15 to find the net. And given how well he shoots it from the line, this is not a good foul. Got to avoid that at all costs. Well, Clark, one sign that Houston is building for the future has to be all of their young talent. Yeah, I agree with you, B.A. They're planning for the road ahead. Lots of gifted players on the way up who could develop into a tight-knit squad over the coming seasons. It'll be fun to watch what goes on in Houston. And he makes a first. And this Mavericks team, Grant, they are loaded up on shooters who can hurt you from outside. And that's the way they should be built. Force teams to spread out and give Luka space. And when the Mavs get hot from outside, they are dangerous. And that's good as he hits both shots. Productive trip to the line. He doesn't like to leave points on the table. Outside, green. To the right side. The three from Washington. The shot that time, not on target. And it's Dallas the other way. Down low. Here's right. Oh, no good. Had a chance to take the lead. Houston has gone one for three from beyond the arc. Martin. And he dunks it down. A bit undersized. His hops make him a legit small ball four. Dallas has gone 0 for 3 from downtown. Pass to Bullock. Now here's Wright. And so far he's averaging 7 points a game. Now here's Wood. 6 on the shot clock. Kaminsky pulls it in. Outside, Green. to the paint with a nine footer the putback it's good on the putback green's got 11 exactly how you run the pick and roll green looking very comfortable and confident in these sets they're searching for a way to score yeah buckets have been very tough to come by and dallas calls time here Washington against Wright. Pass to Wood. Inside. Here's Green. And he banks in the layup. Really a smart look that time by Wood, giving the ball up to his wide open teammate. Houston in the lead. And here's Washington. Oh, no scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Now Tate. Six to shoot. Here's Kaminsky. Plenty of space. And it's good. Off the back rim and in. And the Rockets lead by four. Good body control that time by Frank Kaminsky. Seems to me that he's got really good balance and rhythm when he's catching and shooting. Pass to Bullock. Back to right. Powell outside. And the shot goes down. Powell's got his second basket of the night. And Powell doing a nice job using his length on these hard shots. I mean, excellent at powering through the contact. Here's Kaminsky. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line.
Throws good. Kaminsky. At seven feet tall with range, Frank the Tank is a great fit for the way the game is played today. Christopher, he's checked in for Martin. The Mavericks trailing. Pass to Bullock. And we've got 118 left in the first quarter of the game. Now here's Green. Powell right side. Here's Wood. Gets his second attempt to go. Now he's one for two. Well, I love how comfortable and composed Wood is down there. Takes his time and just does his thing in his way. Now here's Washington. Looking for his first basket still in this one. On the wing, Green. Pass to Tate. Five on the clock. Here's Christopher. Wood grabs the board. Yeah, the half and half balls are going their way, and that's really a function of effort and intensity. You know, the ball doesn't discriminate. Whoever goes and gets it, that's who owns it. 30 seconds left now in the first quarter. Washington passes to Green. Off target from three-point range. Dallas has gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. Pass to right. Back to Green. It's right on the wing. Over Green. Can't get the go-ahead bucket. Usually, guys, he's going to knock that one down from there. Proficient at operating in that medium range area. Christopher's shot is good. And so it's Jalen Green making highlights for Houston. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. We're coming right back. Don't go anywhere. And this has been a fairly close game through the first quarter. We'll see what happens here in the second. All right, what do you think about the Rockets? Well, it looks like hitting the boards hard was an emphasis of their attack. They knew how valuable it was to do so. Yeah, and you know, when a team establishes an edge on the glass early, it really sets things up for the rest of the game. Well, you know it takes courage to draw charges. Guys get trucked all the time, and they still call a blocking foul. You think more of those should be no calls, Grant? You know, B.A., courage is the right word. If you're willing to step in there and sacrifice your body for the sake of the team, you know what? If you don't give them a charge, I prefer the no call. I like that idea. So the Houston Five right now. Smith plays the four with Shingun at center. Josh Christopher is out there with Kevin Porter. Sends it home from three-point land. Hardaway's got his third basket on the night right there. Encouraging to see Hardaway Jr. knock it down from there, proving he can do damage from this area. Porter's shot is off. The Mavericks shooting efficiently, 50% so far. A step back shot. Hardaway, no good. Well, that's a rare miss for him inside. He may have just rushed it a bit. Maybe lost concentration, too. Here's Smith. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Outside Hardaway. And we played just over a minute of basketball in the second quarter. The Rockets have got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. And up the court they come. The Mavericks on the break. That gives them the lead. Good fast-paced play there. It's much easier to find a shot when you beat the defense back. And that replay showed how sensational that drive truly was. Yeah, taking the onus on himself to make something happen. Got it into the teeth of the defense and made them pay. Now here's Porter. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Pass to Christopher. Five to shoot. Back to Shengu. And he goes strong with the one-handed jam. <laughs> and plays like that one can make the difference in a close game. And it definitely got the bench on their feet, too. Making a statement for sure. I mean, we'll see if they can maintain that aggressive approach, guys. Here's Hardaway. After the Rockets picked up a basket a moment ago. Jacks up a three. It's rebounded by Shangoon. He's certainly been cold this quarter, guys, but trying to shoot his way back into a groove. It's stolen by Irving. Pass to Hardaway. 
from deep. Here's Doncic. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got four rebounds in the game. And just continuing to impress at every level. Smith Jr. was a five-star recruit. Led Auburn to a great season as a freshman. And he's just starting to tap into his potential now. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Smith. The Mavericks making a switch here. McGee's checked in. And a change for the Rockets. Martin, he's checked in for Christopher. Here's Irving. 26 points for him last game against New York. Just five to shoot. Another miss by Irving. Smith Jr. with incredible upside grin. And he's got the work ethic to make it all happen. Yeah, he really does, B.A. He's a humble guy. He puts in extra time at practice. And it really shows in his skill set. Just very advanced for his age. The Mavericks have gotten only two of eight field goals to go in the second. Doncic passes to Irving. Kleba against Smith. Outside Irving. Pass to Hardaway. McGee with it. Smith with the rebound. Smith's got six rebounds here tonight. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. Dallas has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Here's Irving. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Oh, man, he can't get anything to fall. You can feel his frustration. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. And you got to be in awe of incredible defensive efforts like this. What a powerful rejection. He's not wanting them to get an advantage in this competitive game. The Mavericks trailing. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Thanks a lot, Brian. Well, Luka Doncic, an all-star from his second season, and every year he's one of the favorites for MVP. But Luka says, quote, I still haven't won anything, so I've got a long way to go. Brian, if you didn't catch it, team success is the metric. He says the key is to win a championship. Well, he certainly gives them a chance to do just that, Allie. Thank you. Tipped. Oh, it's stolen by Doncic. And a fast break now. The Mavericks on the run. Tries again. That one no good. Ooh, excellent D there from Smith. Martin takes it in. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. And for the Mavericks, they're shooting only 39% so far in the game. Pass to Hardaway. Back to Irving. Up and over Porter. And it's Irving missing. The Rockets have gotten five of eight attempts to drop since the second began. Here's Porter. Drives to the hoop. And then Porter with the dunk. Whoa, whoa storming inside on that drive. And then just exploding. What a jam by Porter. Now Doncic. 20 points for him last game against New York. And he may have posed even more problems with his passing. They had to worry about him as a scorer and a distributor. Now here's Irving. It's a five-point game from the strike. Here's McGee. Got a piece of it. Kleba against Porter. Down low. Here's Smith. And he's going to the line for two. The officials saw contact while he was going up. It's on JaVale McGee. 
I don't mind that. I mean, they met him at the rim and temporarily prevented the points. Old school D right there. Just telling them no easy layups. It's as simple as that. And that's what you expect from them. He drops the first. Powell, he's checked in for Kleba. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Zero wasted trips. They're doing their job at the line. One way to protect the lead, knock down those free throws. And 100% free throwing for the quarter, that's superb. Timeout on the floor. Mavericks. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Mavericks with possession here. Seven point differential. And there's McGee. That one's good. On the assist from Irving. Irving's got his third assist of the night. Outside Porter. Pass to Smith. Back to Porter. Goes up at the elbow. It's good. He's got six. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. Dallas has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. Doncic outside. McGee in the post. Working on Chengu. Rockets with a rebound. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Guys, I think they've simply been the more physical team, and that's why they're ahead. Pass to Porter. It's Martin on the wing. Shot clock at six. Up and over Hardaway. Again, Houston. Martin's gone four of five shooting from the field. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. You know, he's just not taking good shots, not taking smart shots, forcing up a lot of low percentage jump there. And look at those moves in the post and the smooth finish to go along with it. Just excellent work around the rim. Left his man lunging and reaching for air. That was something else right there. So it's the Mavericks now. The Rockets getting their last shot to go. Back to Irving. Three-pointer. Knocks down the triple. Irving's got seven. Just one for five this quarter. But don't expect him to back away from adversity. Outside Porter. Pass to Martin. Guarded by Doncic. And he makes it. And the Rockets lead by 10. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point-blank range. Back to Irving. Now Powell. Shoots from the right block. And it won't go. His first miss. He's 2 of 3 now. And it's Houston's ball. They're on a 19-7 to run. To the middle. Here's Shangoon. Basket's good. And it's a 12-point Houston lead. Defensively, they've got to get more bodies in the paint. That's three straight field goals from below the free throw line. Dallas has gone two of six from distance here in the second quarter. Doncic outside. Pass to Hardaway. Now here's Doncic. The three. And the 
the Mavericks, another three. After having none in the first, he gets two three-point shots to go here. Here's Porter, making a mark on the offensive end, scoring around 13 a game. It's Martin on the wing. Pass to Porter. Ooh, McGee with the block. Boy, and the wingspan McGee has covers a lot of ground. Very useful for shot block. With the defense trying to protect the interior, he pulls at the arc and drains it. And you know, you felt this coming ever since summer when the idea of Kyrie Irving out of Brooklyn. Now, we all know the two sides just couldn't see a long-term future together. So the Nets were able to send Irving away and get something before he left in free agency. Now here's Shangun. Right now averaging five and a half a game. Doncic against Martin. Doncic passes to McGee. Back to Doncic. Beyond the arc. Another three for Dallas. The defense is nowhere to be found guarding the three-point shot. Timeout call. Houston. And, you know, what's most impressive about Luka Doncic is how fast he has become a bona fide star in this league. I mean, you get the feeling he's nowhere close to being done improving yet. But I believe those games at the highest level in Europe really prepared him to be a star in the NBA. And the Mavericks with some changes. Woods checked in for McGee. Bullock comes in for Powell. And Wright subbed in for Luka Doncic. Here's Christopher. Looking at his stats, he's putting up about 7.5 per game. Hardaway against Tate. With some arc. And he gets that one. Tate's got his first points of the game. And Luka's the kind of guy you build your team around, Clark. Yeah, and I think this next step is being a franchise player that learns how to lead effectively. It's incredible how much he has already accomplished at such a young age. And this transition coming to the NBA from Europe has been, I think, surprisingly seamless. Hardaway, no good. And their free throws have dropped off in this quarter. They're settling for too many jump shots right now. I, I think you're right. I mean, an up fake here or there, getting the ball inside. That's how you create high percentage offense. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for the Rockets. The most consistent attack on offense so far has been the mid-range jump shot. We'll see if they can keep that rolling. Something else they've been doing really well is shredding that defense by getting all the way to the rack. They've been absolutely fearless in attacking the paint. And he knocks down the first one. Perfect from the line this time. The Mavericks trailing. Right outside. Pass to Wood. Now here's Irving. The D's right on him. Right outside. Fires the three. The Rockets pull it in. Tangoon's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Counted from distance. He's got 13. The defense takes a chance, leaves him open at the arc, and he capitalizes. 55 seconds left in the first half. Right with the ball. Pass to Wood. Ooh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Woods got his second bucket of the night. Well, you know, guys, we know Hardaway can score, but when he makes these passes, it makes him a lot more dangerous. Fades and shoots. No good. A bit long that time. Showing great intensity around the rim is part of why he's a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just a, against his constitution. 
Houston has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. To the inside, Christopher. Drops in the layup for two. Christopher's gotten four this quarter. And they found a nice flow offensively here in the second period. Yeah, and that field goal percentage zooming upwards is now above 50%, which is pretty strong. And he's coming off a huge performance, and his confidence couldn't be any higher. And his coach knows that, too. Showing no signs of slowing or cooling down. They're going to ride him as far as he can take him. Offensive rebound. Ooh, he released it in time, but it's off the mark. And we've reached halftime in this one. The Rockets on top, up eight. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in a moment. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Shaq is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Houston found themselves in a close game in the first. And they kept it close, trailing by, at the most, four points. They found a nice groove in the second quarter, running out to an eight-point lead. What did you think, Shaq, about the first half we saw from the Rockets? They wouldn't be ahead without the numbers they've gotten from the bench. Providing major contributions, especially at the offensive end, is taking a lot of pressure off the start. What a luxury to have a second unit that can produce. And over to Kenny. Let's get your insights on Dallas. Right now, this game is being won and lost on the black. When another team is out muscling you, sometimes you have to run more guys to the backboard. Quantity can match quality if you can also be aggressive going after the basketball. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And we played through the first half. Plenty of basketball left in this one. Houston in the lead. Luka Doncic is out there with Kyrie Irving. Then there's JaVale McGee. Then there's Maxi Kleba. And it's Hardaway in at the three spot. That's the lineup out there for the Mavericks. Here's Christopher. Here's Porter. Oh, great D that time from Kleba. That's going up against a defense that knows your tendencies. Christopher with a rebound. And the Rockets with possession here. And at home for the next game, it'll be New York pulling in to face them. And that's the first of just two home games for them. Reporter Jr., I think it's about shot selection. Taking smart shots, including when he's in close. Now here's Irving. It's tipped. And that's out of bounds. Dallas will retain possession. And it's time to take another look at that powerful block. Superb anticipation on that rejection. And that'll allow them to stay on the lead if they keep defending like that. Four on the clock. Here's Hardaway. Starting slow in this half. 0 for 3 so far. Can't connect from 14. And they're up considerably because of their efforts on the glass. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. What's up? It all started with the pass. That's what coaches love to see, ball movement. Well, you know, after he was jettisoned by the Cavaliers, Kevin Porter Jr. getting a second chance here with the Rockets, and they've put the ball in his hands and believe in him. Kevin Porter with an opportunity in Houston now to learn from his past mistakes. Well, B.A., controlling his turnovers, now still a work in progress, but all these early reps will serve him well long term. Pass to McGee. 
That's tipped. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the third quarter. To the paint. Here's Smith. Cash. Assisting on the play was Porter. Porter's got his fourth assist in this one. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. Back to Doncic. Up top, McGee. Defended by Shangun. Irving for three. He drops it from range. Irving's got 15 points. And, you know, after starting 0 for 3 this half, they finally get one down. To the middle. And out of bounds. Dallas will have it. I'm not sure whose fault that was, guys, but they need to get on the same page here. Green's checked in for the Mavericks. And we're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. Now here's Doncic. He's got nine. From behind the arc. Another three for Dallas. Back-to-back -back threes. Making their defense work on the perimeter a bit. Porter against Irving. Outside Porter. Smith in the high post. Pocket six. Green for three. Doncic grabs the miss. Doncic has got eight rebounds in the game. Kleba right side. Outside Irving. Fires for three. Nails it from beyond the arc. He's got 18. And his perimeter shooting might be the key to trimming their deficit. I don't think there's any question about it. I mean, as long as he keeps knocking them down, they might as well keep going back to the well. No reason to let it go run dry. Keep firing that thing. Here's Shangun. Ooh, McGee with the block. Pass to Green. From deep. The shot is good. Doncic making the play. Doncic has got five assists tonight. Twelve straight points off threes. This defense is not extending very well. You know, they're having free reign from beyond the arc. The defense is just not there. And the Rockets call time here. Things just aren't going their way. He clearly wants to talk it over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. And the Mavericks making a change here. Powell's checked in. Outside Porter. Doncic against Smith. Down low. It's tipped. And stolen by Green. And Dallas with possession. A nice run going. 12 in a row. Outside. Green. Up top, Kleba. the stuff. This is anyone's game now, and they have the momentum. Well, it starts with defense. They got some stops, scored some buckets after that, and now we've got ourselves a ball game. Hey, how about imagining if they were hitting their shots, how big the lead could be? But so far, that's not been the case. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. You know, one thing Kyrie Irving has talked about is reclaiming his power, Greg. Well, he has stopped listening to the outside voices telling him what to do. Finding his own purpose and his identity. And at times, that's meant being something of a renegade. Martin, he's checked in for Houston. Washington comes in for Christopher. Hard to keep up with Irvin. I mean, this guy knows how to get to the line. He's a multi-dimensional scorer, always attacking. Irving against Washington. Pass to Martin. All alone. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. And here is Irving. He's got 21. Let's a floater go. No good there. Ooh, excellent D there from Smith. You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, 
You look for every edge you can find. It's been a dominant night for him, staying productive throughout. Here's Irving. After the Rockets picked up a basket a moment ago. Kleba outside. Pass to Irving. Six to shoot. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Green for three. Pure from three-point range. Green's got six in the quarter. <laughs> They're getting torched on the perimeter. Four of the last five buckets have been threes. It's hard for me to watch this. I mean, the defense practically giving them those shots. Now here's Smith. 11 points in the game. Kleba with a steal. Doncic outside. Powell. Deflected. Now Porter. And it's blocked by Irving. Irving bringing a little more intensity to the defensive end there. Using his speed to get ahead of that shot. A different look for Dallas. Woods checked in for Kleba, and it's Bullock in for Kyrie Irving. And Dallas with possession. They're on a 20-4 run. Doncic finds Wood. Back to Doncic. Here's Bullock. That one falls. Great setup by Doncic. Doncic has got his sixth assist of the night. In today's game, you can never afford to get beat in the three-point battle. You know, the only way that's going to turn around defensively is by stopping the outside shot, not getting into a shootout. They're not going to out-shoot out this team. Time called here. The Rockets decide to talk it over. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this game. And staying hydrated is the only surefire way to do it. An athlete's body doesn't have the same power and stamina without proper hydration. These guys will be sure to use this timeout wisely. Now here's Tate. And right now he's currently putting up six and a half points per game. Bullock puts it in. He did everything in his power to make that a hard shot. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Here's Washington. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Let's get a quick check of the scoring breakdown here for the Mavericks. What a performance for Beyond the Arc in this game. They stuck to their guns, and it's paid off all game. And the thing I've seen that I've really been impressed by is they've gotten everybody involved, unselfishly making that extra pass, getting that ball to the right guy at the right time for the good shot. The first one falls. McGee, he's checked in for green. So Washington nails both of them. For Dallas, they've gone 50% from the field in the third quarter. 8 of 16. Right, the pass to Wood. Here's Bullock. Green covering. And here is McGee. Over Smith. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. He just couldn't finish the job that time. And too bad, because it was a nice look. Inside. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Shooting two. First one at the line is good. So he gets them both. 
Here's right. Pass to Bullock. Back to right. Wood up top. Just five on the clock. Now Doncic. He's covered by Tate. And it's Doncic missing. The Rockets have gone 5 of 11 in this third quarter. Tate finds Washington. The Rockets again can't hit. And here are the Mavericks now. They'll take on the Spurs at AT&T Center after this one. That'll be the first leg of just a two-game trip for them. Doncic outside. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. Boy, in a game this snug, you can ill afford to commit those kinds of turnovers. One of the trickier plays to judge, but it would be hard to argue against the call. Yeah, you know, the officials aren't nearly as lenient as they used to be on that call. As a matter of fact, I know I got away with a lot of those in my playing days, but that was 40 years ago. Now here's Green. He's got 11. Tate passes to Smith. Shoots over McGee. Oh, yes, the turnaround. Smith's got nine points in the quarter. Showing more patience this half. His shot selection has improved, and his field goal percentage is rising. And Dallas calls time here. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. The Mavericks trailing. Pass to Bullock. Here's Wood. Knocked loose. It's stolen by Washington. Smith against Wright. Back to Smith. Gets a hand on it. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Martin's got 15 points. Big time effort on the glass. And when you have a touch that soft, those tip-ins are easier to make. But only if you grind hard enough to get yourself in tight before the shot goes up, guys. You've got to get your work done before the shot is attempted. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that's not the defense you need. You've got to be tougher defensively. Timeout called. Houston. Adjustments are a part of every game and every quarter of a game. I think Coach sees something here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. Hardaway's checked in for the Mavericks. The Rockets have gotten 7 of 15 shots to hit in the second half. Martin outside. Back to Green. Let's it go from deep. The Mavericks pull it in. Doncic has got rebound number 11. 4-3. He's off on that one. The Rockets go the other way with it. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. And you look at the intangibles of Luka Doncic. He has some of the best court awareness in the league. And that shows up most with his passing and body control. Now here's Doncic. He's got 12. Pass to right. Six on the shot clock. From down in the low post, it goes. And that ties it up. And the way Doncic can feel the defenders around him speaks to his great court sense, Grant. Uh, no question. And the elite footwork he has makes the most of it. I mean, one of the best at shielding defenders with his body. It's really how he can navigate through a defense with ease. So it's the Rockets now. The Mavs get their last shot to go. No good with the triple. Mavericks shooting 48% since the beginning of the third. Here's Hardaway. Oh, the block just stops it cold and takes possession. Here's Green. The putback controls the rebound and the putback. And the Rockets lead by two. All right, let's take a look at the energy stats. How the hustle game has been going for the Rockets. 
Yeah, they've done a great job of challenging every shot they can. Their totals in the block column are a result of that aggression. And I love the fact they kept the pressure on, really pushing that ball, running it up the floor. I love seeing that. A team staying aggressive even when they're playing well. To the middle. Good. Eight buckets in 12 attempts. They're winning the battle down low by imposing their will. Yeah, it's really been quite a contrast. I like the way they're attacking the middle um, at their offensive end. Now, here's Hardaway. 13 points in the game. Wood passes to Hardaway. Wood outside. Let's go with a three. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Martin against Doncic. With the clock winding down. And Doncic hammers it home. Boy, there's a subtle but real physicality and aggressiveness to Doncic's approach to the game. And that's part of his greatness. Outside, Green. It's Martin on the wing. Off target with the three. It could go. That one doesn't drop. Three quarters of play and a close one here. Mavericks ahead, leading by one. All right, we're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of quarter number four next. All right, let's take a look at our assist to the game presented by State Farm. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. Yeah, and with the accuracy to go along with that vision. I mean, he put the ball in the absolute perfect spot. That's how you orchestrate it. Well, this has been a great contest so far. I imagine the fourth quarter could have more action in store for us. So the Rockets five now. Kevin Porter is out there with Josh Christopher. Then there's Alperon Shangoon. Then there's Kenyon Martin. Porter with the steal. Up and over Doncic. Here's Christopher. And that one is stuffed right through. Coming down the stretch. It's still anyone's game. Incredible effort and energy on both sides. These guys must be gassed. Now here's Irving. Over Porter. And too long on the shot. To the paint. And it goes. That makes him 9 for 13 now. Fantastic job moving the ball there by Porter Jr. Understanding exactly what was available when his teammates were open. Kleba passes to Irving. Wood with it from 11 feet away. The shot no good. On the wing, Porter. He's checked by Kleba. And Porter hits from deep. And now it's a six-point rocket lead. Tell you what, if he can find some consistency from deep, Porter Jr. is going to be a nightmare as an offensive player. Doncic finds Wood. Here's Bullock to end the run. It's rebounded by Shangoon. Shangoon's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Martin misses. The Mavericks have gone 0 for 3 in this fourth. Not good. Irving for 3. Sinks the tray. Irving's got 12 points in just the second half. He's showing no signs of letting up here. We're about two minutes into the fourth here. Back to Porter. Uneasy two on the layup. Porter's got five points now this quarter. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Pretty clear. It's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. The Mavericks have gone one of four since the fourth quarter began. Pass to Bullock. Wood outside. 
An open look for Irving. Porter pulls it in. The Rockets have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Just over two and a half minutes played now. Final quarter of regulation. Here's Christopher. Takes a three. Offensive board. Great positioning on the putback. And the Rockets lead by seven. They are just owning the boards right now. And that's been the key to this lead. I mean, they've really dominated the glass. Doncic up top. He shoots it. And good. Coming on the assist by Irving. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. You know, they want the ball in his hands here because they trust him to hit all the big shots. Now here's Porter. Pass to Christopher. Down to five on the shot clock. Back to Porter. Over Irving. Porter shot is off. Look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there. Even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. Adding insult to injury with the dunk off the steal. Nice to see a good play on D. That led to some fireworks. Well, turning defense to offense. We talk about it all the time. Try to hit your opponent at the other end before they can set up the defense. Now here's Doncic. Back to Bullock. Takes the three. Rockets with a rebound. Shangoons, and it's Houston's ball. They're on a 13-5 run. <laughs> this energy is unmatched. And you know you're going to get those buckets, guys, when you're quick to get out on the break. Get that ball up the court as fast as you can. For Dallas, they've gone two for seven from the field here in the fourth. Not great. Pass to Bullock. Irving against Porter. Kleba outside. Back to Irving. Up and over Porter. Outside for Irving. Back to Wood. It's rebounded by Houston. tangoon has got 15 rebounds here tonight. Houston has gone one of two from deep in this quarter. To the inside. And stolen by Wood. Irving with it. Now Porter defending. Oh, swiped away. Fast break. Here come the Rockets. And then Porter with the dunk. You know, for guys like Porter Jr., who really can score the ball, transition hoops are part of the packet. That's easy money for guys like him. Pass to Bullock. Now Irving. Fires the three. It's rebounded by Shangoon. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. Nails it from three. They're pushing the ball at pretty much every opportunity. Seven straight fast break points. They've got the defense gasping for breath right now. Now here's Irving. Up and over Porter. Dallas no good that time either. He's lost his rhythm completely this quarter. But he's determined to stay after it. He's guarded by Irving. Pass to Shangun. And here's Porter outside. Here's Christopher. Now here's Porter. Second shot opportunity. He can't hit that time. Oh, great D that time from Kleba. And Dallas with possession. They trail by 14. Irving for three. Again, Irving missing. And the Rockets with possession. They're on a 20 to 5 run. Porter, the pass to Shangun. And the shot's good. Shangun's got four points now in the quarter. Really good in the playmaking role. Porter Jr. with the right read in the two man game there. The Mavericks shooting just under 40% from the field. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Doncic outside. Pass to Irving. Puts up a three. Another miss by Irving. Yeah, they just can't seem to end the drought no matter where they shoot it from. And, you know, they've got to be careful because this is when the team concept breaks down and guys start playing hero ball. Now here's Porter. Martin, left side. 
And it's Irving with a rebound. And Dallas with possession. It's a 16-point game. And the call will be against Alperon Shangun. That's his third foul of the game. McGee, he's checked in for the Mavericks. Hardaway comes in for Bullock. Smith, he's checked in for Houston. Green comes in for Christopher. Doncic passes to Hardaway. Irving against Porter. And Irving, the bucket on the assist from Hardaway. Irving's got 14 points now in the second half. Houston has gone 2 of 4 from the perimeter here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Shangun. Outside Porter. Shot clock at six. And here is Green. Shangun. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Rockets lead by 16. Now that takes serious effort and a light touch. No need to overdo it. Just lightly tip it in. But that's the way to go if you've got good position. Now here's Hardaway. Irving for three. Rockets with a rebound. Kangoon's got his 20th rebound here tonight. Well, the Rockets shooting 58% from the floor. Terrific here in the fourth. Defensively, you pick your poison. That time, they gambled off the right guy. Oh, they get a hand on it. Porter with it. He's picked up by Hardaway. Porter, the pass to Green. Up and over Doncic. And that one's good. Green. Green doing work inside. Feels like he can score on just about anybody. Outstanding dribble drive. And that replay was brought to you by Mobile One. You know, B.A., even with the game well in control, he's going right at the rim. I love it. Pass to Doncic. Back comes Houston in transition. And that one's good. Green. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Here's Doncic. Well, we often see teams make big moves right before the trade deadline. Clark, do you like when a team goes through significant changes midseason? Well, it does keep things interesting, but as a general rule, I don't think you can do that consistently. But it does add some life and excitement to what's going on when it does happen. But major hmm. roster changes as a general principle are typically not going to work in your favor. No good on the free throw. Tate's checked in for the Rockets. And he's good on the second. Houston has gone two of six so far in the fourth. Irving against Porter. Pass to Green. Here's Tate. Shangun passes to Green. Drills it from deep. No wasted motion or hesitation there. Green ready to shoot as soon as he caught it. And for Dallas, they're shooting around 39%. They'd like to get that higher. And Doncic launches from deep. Offensive rebound, Mavericks. Here's McGee. And McGee with the stuff. Look at the power on that. He has to be one of the top dunkers in the game today. Absolutely salivates when he attacks the rim. Tate passes to Green. Smith outside. On the wing, Porter. He's guarded by Irving. And that one's good. Green. Able to score from anywhere on the court. Green can hurt you in myriad ways. And his game is only growing. And Dallas calls time here. They trail by 22. 156 left in the fourth quarter. And now let's take a look at the New Balance Player of the Game. 
Well, I tell you what, DeRozan has been incredible with his attacking at the offensive end, and it's been all game long. Never hesitating to attack a gap in the defense, and then he found a lot of points by slicing his way right to the cup. Man, they've been on the struggle bus here in the last few games, so his performance makes it that much sweeter. Fighting out of a rut like that, not easy to do. Pass to Green. One forty-nine left in the fourth quarter here. Green against Holiday. Shot clock at five. Here's Kleba. No good from outside. Houston has gone three of seven from the perimeter during the fourth. Outside, Green. Pass to Garuba. Outside Tate. From outside the arc. He can't get it to go. And it's Dallas the other way. Well, the scoreboard tells you everything you need to know about this one. A great showing here for the Rockets. And the disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. And they earn win number nine. Each win so important in this league. And with this win, they'll have a 2-1 to one advantage in this tightly contested season series with one more game remaining this year against the Mavericks. First free throw is good. Hey, we've heard a lot of coaches say, including Warriors coach Steve Kerr, about load management. If you want to see the Stars play more often, cut the schedule back. Maybe 72 games. Grant, your thoughts? You know, B.A., this is a problem and a concern, I think, for the league. You go back 20, 30 years ago, Stars played every night when available. Now you're not seeing that with the workload and the back-to-back -back and the concern with players and their safety and the amounts of money they make over their contracts. 72 games is a possibility, but I prefer to keep it at 82. Maybe I'm just a traditionalist. And up the court they come. The Mavericks on the break. The shot by Hardy, no good. Right side green. Here's Garuba. Oh, and a beautiful feed leads to a monster jam. They really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you their flight home will be filled with some smiles. Yep, to have a stress-free win on the road, very satisfying. The fans are already headed for the exit. Here's Green. After the Rockets picked up a basket a moment ago. Pass to Hardy from the arc. The Rockets pull it in. Just let the clock run out. Hey, it's time to celebrate. Washington with the ball. And so it's the Rockets taking care of business in this one. This one wasn't even close. The hometown crowd was waiting for a miracle that never came. Yeah, and this team was consistent throughout. They met every challenge, and they earned this dub. And that'll do it, folks. For Grant Hill, Ali LaForce, and Clark Kellogg, this is Brian Anderson thanking you all for tuning in tonight. And we'll see you next time.